This segment is proudly brought to you by Vic Roads Custom Plates. Okay, Deb, g'day and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you. Now, we're here at the Holden Centre, which is the headquarters for Collingwood Footy Club here in Victoria. Yes, we are. We're here to talk about your VF Commodore, which has got custom plates on it called... Deb's VF. Now, it's not just Deb's VF, because you've actually decked it out into Collingwood, haven't you? I have, yes, with the, the mats, the stripes, and also Nathan Buckley and Scott Penderbury signature on the bonnet. Now that's pretty special, and the car is special itself because it's one of 30, isn't it? One of 30 commissioned by Holden through our sponsors from the Collingwood Football Club. Unbelievable. Now, with the custom plates, why did you want to go Deb's VF? I think to significantly say that because I'm a Collingwood supporter, that Deb's VF is mine that represents the football club that I love. All right, now tell us a story about when you went to walk in to look at a four-wheel drive and you came out with the VF Commodore. Yeah, my husband went in to have a look at a hot, uh, Colorado Storm Yep. and the VF was actually sitting on the showroom floor and I just couldn't pass it up. I just, it's like Christmas tree lights in my eyes. My husband said, oh no, there goes the Storm. So, so you, you took the Storm for a test ride and all that kind of stuff? Yes, we did, yeah. Yep. And it handled very well. I mean for the power that it has and the stability that it brings to you on the road is amazing. Mm. But apart from that, you didn't want it because you just fell in love with that car. I did. And you didn't even know it was one of 30 of the Collingwood cars, did you, before no. then? No, I didn't, no. We actually found out when they did the launch uh, at the rear of the footy club, um, Gary Pert, um, Scott Penderbury and Nathan Buckley were given a bit of a chat about how the vehicles came about and that's with the Holden sponsorship. Now you didn't, one other thing your husband was telling me a little bit earlier was that you actually didn't know that he'd brought the car for you, did he? No, no, because he had his heart set on a four-wheel drive and I guess he couldn't let me down. He knew how much I loved Collingwood and being a car that Holden had sponsored for them, he just couldn't say no. What a fantastic bloke. He is, he is. Yeah. Now, how long have you been a Collingwood supporter for? How long have you been had that sickness? Since I was eight years old. Eight years? It took you that long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, nothing else coming with that, but good uh, loyalty, I guess. Okay, so how fanatic are you then? I'm a member. Yep. Um, we go to a lot of the functions. Years ago, we were uh, in a group called the Geelong Magpie Supporter Group. Yeah. And we used to sponsor players. And yeah, it just grew and grew more and more. and. Yeah, the passion's still there. Fantastic. Now, if I had to say, who was your best Collingwood player out of all time, who would you pick? Peter Dacos. Peter Dacos. Funny enough, his son is just coming back shortly to, to actually perform. He'd be under a lot of pressure. He is, and I think the fact that he's actually not going to take his father's number, um, he wants to be himself and earn his spot in the football club. Uh, which is good, and the credit to the young fella as well. Oh, yeah. What did you like about Dacos? Because obviously he was the magician. He was a marvel with the ball. I mean, significantly, as soon as he grabbed it, you didn't know where it was going to go, but he did. Well, mostly through the goals, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, he knew where they were. Yeah. Mm, mm. Well, that's great. Now, tell us a little bit, some of the, the, the creature things that you've done with your car. I see, you know, you've got some footy boots on there, Collingwood boots. Yes. The, the interior is all Collingwood, my golly. The features <laughs> are my personalised plates, which yep. uh, has the Collingwood emblem on the front and my name and the make of the car. Um, on the bonnet, we have the signatures of the captain and coach from the Collingwood Football Club. Who are? Nathan Buckley and Scott Pendlebury. Inside the vehicle, we have signatures on my visor of captain and coach, same. Uh, my black and white covers, which aren't Collingwood, but they're still black and white. Uh, my boots that my friend Maxine actually gave me. They have the Collingwood mats. My blanket, which is Collingwood pillows. On the rear of the car, we have a Preston Collingwood emblem. Yes. And underneath the hood, we have a limited Collingwood badge underneath also. Anything else you need to do to that car? Because that car looks stunning. I don't think so. I mean, you take too much away from it. There's other cars that are going around with more stripes, more badges, more strips. 
I think it's straight great. I think it's it, it, it's subtle but nice if you know what I mean. It's yeah. not overdone. It no. actually looks it like when I saw it today when I first rocked up I said this is a beautiful looking car and I'm a tiger supporter and only a stone's throw from um, the MCG and also Punt, Punt Road. Road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's correct. But it's a beautiful looking car. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. No, you've done well. Yeah, I have, thank you. All right, Dev, well, I want to say thank you very much for being on Bumper to Bumper. Love your car, love your custom plate, personalised for you, and which represents you as a Collingwood supporter, so well done. Thank you. And this um, episode has been brought to you by Vic Rhodes Custom Plates. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Say goodbye, Dev. Bye. <laughs>